I see this more of a signature scent, but I have trouble recommending it for that because of Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here today. I want to do a little re-review on Armov's Magnificent OD Parfum. One of my most viewed fragrance videos now is my top 10 Armovs. So I'm always interested in finding different Armovs, maybe Armovs that can crack that top 10. My top 10 Armovs are actually really, really strong, but it's always interesting trying these. Some of the hyped Armovs are very expensive, but the unhyped ones like this one are actually pretty cheap. I think I got this for about $20, $25. I'll go through my purchase history and put it down below. I filmed this review perfectly. I had no problems with it, but the one problem I do have is it was filmed on this phone. And as you can see, this phone isn't really working as well. That was the one video I didn't take off the phone before it broke. So unfortunately I got to re-review or reshoot this one, but let's jump right into it. This reminds me of like a 2000s, slightly sweet, fruity style fragrance, very safe. To me, I yeah, just generally 2000s kind of a smell. When I was looking up the notes online, the notes we got are bergamot, galbanum, grapefruit, apple, ginger, spices, vanilla, musk, patchouli, suede, woody notes, and cedar. Let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very easy to wear. That's probably the, the best part about this fragrance. I wore this for about four or five days straight um, before I ended up shooting the, the first review. So I have tried this quite a bit. It does smell a little bit different, generally very safe. Maybe it's supposed to copy other kind of fragrances. I do smell a little bit of that ginger. I actually really like ginger and fragrances. I feel like it gives it a unique kind of zest and that's probably what smells a little bit unique to me in here. But overall, it's pretty safe. It's not really mind blowing. It's not really risky at all. It's very just safe down the middle, but it's also easy to wear because of it. And then the last pro here is that it is affordable. It is very cheap. I actually really do kind of like the bottle, the presentation, it's pretty heavy. The cap is actually probably one of the heavier caps that I've ever tried from my mom. If you can imagine how um, heavy the Club Dina Week cap is, it's about that thickness and heavy. Very well put together bottle. That's about the last pro for me. So let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons in my opinion is that it's generally pretty synthetic. It doesn't really smell too much like anything natural. It doesn't smell bad in my opinion. It does smell safe, but some people, I just kind of go over it. Does it smell good? Does it smell bad? To me, it smells good. So I don't really mind the syntheticness, but there's some people who they really like a natural incorporation or it to smell very natural. It doesn't smell very natural. It has pretty poor projection. Unfortunately, that's probably the weakest point to this one. I would spray this up quite a bit and sometimes I would have trouble smelling it maybe after an hour. And I mean, you could really douse up on this, you know, seven, eight sprays, even then seven, eight sprays, you might have a trouble cutting through other fragrances and other smells at that point. It's not the worst I've ever tried, but it is pretty low. And, and for me, that's gonna hold it back. It's crazy that it is a OD Parfum, which usually means that it has more fragrance oils and it is more strong and noticeable, but don't really get it with this one. Let's jump into the smell rating. I would give this a 7.5 to an eight. Again, it's not groundbreaking. I do look like the ginger, it is wearable. It is overall very, very safe. And I just gave it possibly up to an eight because of that slight uniqueness in the ginger there. The longevity and projection, I would give a 5.5 to a six. Other fragrances, I've kind of been more generous when they've smelled like this, but to be honest, when I'm spraying up a bunch of times like seven eight times and it doesn't really last more than an hour that's not very good so i had to give a 5.5 to a 6 to be honest but it's not like it's nothing like i've smelled fragrances to where it's literally nothing you could spray 15 times and it's gone after like 30 minutes it's not that bad but it is overall a definite weakness and then likability i'd give an 8 to an 8.5 i think its strongest point is its likability is it good for work i think this is okay for work I think this is okay for a date. It doesn't really jump out at either one of those. It has a little bit of a safeness. It's not overpowering, so I think that's good for work. It has a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of zest, but it's not overall super nighttime kind of sexy, so I don't think of date, but it's not the worst thing either. I think it's right down the middle. Gym, I would say this is actually kind of above average for the gym. This kind of slightly reminds me of 212 Men. It's been a while since I've smelled 212 Men but it kind of has that vibe in my opinion. Just overall the smell and the lightness, I think this is probably one of the better scents if you're gonna to toss for a gym, but to be honest, I, there's not many fragrances that are really made for the gym. It's just kind of like, does it happen to be good for the gym? Because in my opinion, you kind of shouldn't be wearing too much strong stuff. And because this is light and wearable, it kind of would be okay for the gym. I kind of see this more of a signature scent, 
but I have trouble recommending it for that because of the longevity and projection because it is so wearable. Like I was saying, you could wear it to work, you could wear it on a date, you could wear it every day. It's kind of would be inoffensive in all situations, so I do really appreciate that. But let me know what you think of Armov Magnificent. Let me know which Armov I should review down below. I will be doing my re-review top 10 list. I just really want something kind of special, something that a lot of fragrance reviewers aren't incorporating into the list. Right now, the top ones, you could kind of guess what's gonna be the best from our mob. I haven't really included Milestone, so that one is coming in there. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.